guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty and I'm a gnome maker. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this little Cinco de Mayo gnome with his little embroidery look look on his jacket and his sleeves. If you wanna know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. And if you don't wanna make a gnome and you're going to a Cinco de Mayo party, you can always just wear the hat. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, for this video, you're gonna need some cotton fabric. I'm using red, white, and black. I'm using some premium felt. I'm using some chipboard, a stamp pad, a rubber stamp, some ribbon for the hat and the pants, some Dollar Tree shoes, a 70 millimeter ornament, some hair noodles, some dowel sticks, and a pool noodle. Okay, let's get started. First thing, I went ahead and cut all my pattern pieces out and I've given you the pattern below. The little lines on the paper are for the um, score lines and you're just gonna score those and then peel those back. Then we're gonna take our um, ornament and we're gonna clip off the tab on it and then we're going to glue the hat inside of the ornament. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each one of those little tabs and we're gonna glue that to the inside of that ornament. So just put it over the top and then pull those back till they're um, glued to the ornament. Okay, next I'm gonna take my fabric for the top part of the hat and I'm gonna glue down one side and then I'm gonna glue across the top and this is what's gonna make our hat top for our sombrero. Okay, after that dries, you're gonna go ahead and turn it right side out. Push it all the way out till you have your point in the front. And then fold it over and trim off till it's flush, the back is flush with the front. So just trim that straight across there. Okay, then we're just gonna glue that straight to the ornament. And I would go ahead and put some polyfill inside of that. I didn't do it and my hat was a little bit, if you touched, if you squeezed it, it did kind of um, flatten. So go ahead and put some polyfill in there before you glue it down. Just glue down in the front first and then start gluing around the sides all the way to the back. But definitely put some polyfill to fill that up. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut slits all the way around the edge of this hat so that I can um, bend it backwards. Just go ahead and add little slits about an inch apart all the way around. And I'm gonna go a little bit fast on this video like I normally do, but you can pause at any time to catch up. It's just a lot of material to cover in a short amount of time. Okay, then I'm gonna take a pen and I'm just gonna roll those little pieces of cardboard back. And that way you'll have the more sombrero look around the edge once you put your felt on. You can still bend those back. Then take our top piece of fabric, put it over the top and then we're just gonna glue that down. Now that's a six and, and a quarter inch circle. And if you if you have a bowl or something close in size of that, if you don't, if you're not, if you're worried about getting your cuts right, you can just take an exacto and go around a bowl. Then I'm gonna go back in, I'm just gonna make sure that I get it glued in, and I'm gonna start adding in my trim. Now I didn't include this at the beginning, but it's some little pom-pom trim, and I'll give you the link for it. They have it at uh, Michael's and, and Hobby Lobby, but I'll give you the link for this one here that I use because it is a little bit smaller than the ones at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. And you're just gonna glue it where the pom-poms are facing straight out, and you're just gonna go all the way up to the edge of where the trim ends before the pom-poms start. Once you get that all the way glued in, go ahead and trim it off, and then just make sure that those two back pieces meet in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my other piece of felt, which is the same size as the top part, and I'm just gonna put it over the bottom part here. And then I'm gonna go around the edges and just get it glued in real well so that it's solid. Now don't glue the inside part yet because we are gonna have to add some trim inside of there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my hat. I'm just gonna start folding it back a little bit to kind of shape it up a little bit. And then I'm putting some, I'm gonna put some trim on it. So I'm just taking any kind of trim that you want to just to trim out where those two, the top part meets with the top part, the bottom part of the meets with the top part of the hat, just to trim that out so you don't see the, the seam there. Okay, then I'm taking some um, some leather type strapping. This is actually um, at Hobby Lobby in the ribbon department, and I'm just beat. I'm just 
putting it through a bead. So you can use any kind of bead you want to. You just want to place it over there so that you, it looks like he has a little tie strap for his hat. Go ahead and put the hat onto your noodle. Mark exactly where you want it. And then we're going to glue those in. And this is why I didn't want you to glue in the two sides yet. Because you need to get that, um, that strap up in, up in there. And just glue it in on both sides. Then go ahead and finish trimming out the rest of that circle on the inside. Go ahead and glue it in. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and take some fabric. This is a piece of fabric that's three and a half by four and a quarter inch long. And this is just going over the noodle on the front to kind of act like his shirt. And I'm doing it double thickness so that you don't see the red noodle through the fabric. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the pants and just take the two that you cut and, uh, and glue down the top part of the inseam only on both of them. And while those are drying, we're going to go ahead and cut our sticks. We're taking two quarter inch dowel sticks and we're going to cut them at five inches in length on both of them. And then only sharpen one end. I don't know what I was thinking when I sharpened mine, but you only need to sharpen one end. Then we're going to take our pants, open them up with the facing sides together, and we are going to glue down both sides and into the inseam area. Just open that up so it's more curved while you're gluing it so that it stays um, nice and finished out. It'll keep it from bunching up. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to hem them up about a quarter inch all the way around on both legs. And then while that's still inside out, we're going to go ahead and take our waistband and we're going to come down a half an inch and we're going to glue it down as well. Okay, go ahead and turn those right side out and then we're going to add some trim down both legs on the sides. Just turn them to the side. And then get some trim. I'm using the same trim that I used on the hat. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Just run down the side. Go a little bit past the leg so that you can put the bottom part of it up into his leg so it looks like it's um, completely finished out or like it's sewn in there. And you're just putting that straight over the side seam on both sides. And then tucking it in. Okay, next we're going to take a um, hair noodle. We're going to take the wire out of it, and then we are going to cut two pieces for the legs at three inches in length each. So go ahead and cut your first one and then measure your second one against it because you want to make sure that they're exactly the same length. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take our stick and we're going to take the pointy end and push it down over our noodle until it's flush with the bottom. And then we're going to cover them with fabric. And we're going to start on the three and three quarter inch side and glue that down and roll it up. And the reason I'm adding this fabric is because it makes it a little bit, the leg a little bit thicker, so it'll um, push into the shoe a little bit better and stay in. And this is a premium felt. It's, it's almost like a wool felt. It's a little bit thicker than the little sheet felt. And I got this at Michael's. Okay, once you get those glued in, you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and cut little quarter inch slits all the way around because that's what's going to attach it to the noodle itself. Don't skip on this part because you want to make sure that your legs do stay in your noodle. Okay, then go ahead and pull those little flaps back. And then we're going to be right in the center, probably about a half an inch from each side is where we're going to put our legs in. Okay, just get them lined up. Make sure that they're where you want them to be. And then we're going to glue them in. 
and just make sure that your seam on that leg is in the back. Well, it wouldn't really matter because your pants are going to cover it anyways. And then just glue those little tabs to the noodle. And then do the same thing for the leather leg. And I stood mine up there a second just to kind of make sure it would stand on its own. Then we're going to go ahead and put it inside the pants. And then we're going to tie a string around the top edge of the pants just to hold them on. And we're going to come back in and glue the pants on here in a little bit, but this is just to hold it in place. And next we're going to go ahead and make the cummerbund. We're going to um, glue the four and a half inch side. And then we're going to take it and fold each side towards the middle evenly. And then I went and ironed mine before I did the next step. So go iron it. Now that it's ironed, you can go ahead and glue that down. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and put some glue all the way around the top edge of his pants just to hold that into onto the noodle. And then just take the cummerbund, just fold it in half, find your center point, and we're going to start gluing that down onto his pants. And I'm probably starting about a quarter inch from the edge and gluing it in. And then go ahead and fold that edge over right there at the back, just so you have a nice finished out seam, and then glue the rest of that thing down. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and do the shoes, and I'm just going to add a couple of little um, 5 16 inch um, nuts to the bottom of them to hold them to make sure that I have enough weight. And just glue those in, and then I'm going to glue these down to some felt. Now on this one here, I'm just using some regular thinner felt, just a little sheet felt. Glue them down, and then we're going to just cut them out. And then we're going to cut about a quarter inch away from the shoe all the way around, and that's what's going to hold it up. Into, we're going to curve it up into the shoe to clean it up. Just go ahead and do some slits all the way around, and then we're going to glue those to the shoe. And then do the same thing with the other shoe. Then we're going to take a piece of 2 inch by 6 inch fabric and we are going to put a glue dot on the very front, attach it to the center of the toe, and then go ahead and glue that all the way around. You don't need to fold over the back edge of that because the felt is not going to fray, so it will be a finished out seam in the back. And then go ahead and glue that down straight up the back. Then we're going to take the front part, add a little bit of glue in the front and on the inside, and we're just going to tuck that in. Then we're going to fold our two sides in to make it look like a little loafer. Glue those two flaps flat to the shoe. And then we're going to take some scissors and cut off the top. Then go ahead and start gluing that all the way around. Now I'm glue, I, I cut it off till it was about a quarter inch higher than the shoe. And then just start tucking that in and glue it all the way around inside and to tuck it inside that shoe. Then we're just going to take a little quarter inch strip of the felt as well and we're going to trim out the bottom edge of that shoe. And then do the same thing for the other shoe. Then we're going to go ahead and start attaching them to his um, body. Just put a little bit of glue inside there and then just push that straight on and pull his pants down up over the shoe. Next we're going to cut our beard. We're going to cut it at two inches by two inches. And then I'm just going to draw a little U around there, connecting the dot. And then I'm just going to cut around there behind the, on the backing only, not through the faux fur, but on the backing only, all the way around. And then just going to go ahead and trim, and then go ahead and comb that off to get any excess fur off. Now we're going to go ahead and do his jacket. We're going to fold it up from the bottom, and we're going to fold it up about three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to do the same thing on the side. And we're going to lean it up a little bit so it's not flat with the bottom. So it kind of comes at an angle a little bit. And then same thing for the opposite side. 
And then I went and ironed mine as well on this part too. So if you want to iron it, go ahead and go back over and iron it. Now that I got those old ironed, I'm going to go ahead and glue all that down. And you see how it's kind of angled a little bit because I am coming up a little bit from the bottom so you don't see the, the side edges on the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and decorate mine. I'm going to come to, towards the edge of the fabric and I'm just going to stamp it with some white ink on a stamp pad and then I'm going to emboss it. Just put a little embossing um, powder on there. Do the same thing for the opposite side. And this will just make his jacket a little bit decorated up. And I did the same thing for his um, sleeves of his arms too. Just add a little embossing powder and then just kind of take your finger and thump it to get all the powder off and then go ahead and take your embossing gun and heat it up until it um, sets. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and wrap his jacket around the top part edge. Get it exactly where you want it and then we're going to go ahead and glue the top edge into the noodle. Just make sure you get that glued in there good because you want to make sure it stays. Then go ahead and glue down each side just to hold that to the body. Okay, next I'm just going to attach his beard right to the top edge. And then I'm going to go in and make some little sashes for the side of his pants. So I'm just taking the short side, gluing it up, and then I'm going to do both sides to the center again. And then we're going to fold that across in the middle to seal all that up. So just fold it again and then do the same thing with the other one. So one short side, two long sides. And then I'm just going to glue those two together kind of at a diagonal from each other, and then I'm going to stick them up underneath his jacket and glue those in. Just glue them right in there. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and do his arms. I'm going to take a noodle, take the wire out, just pull it out and clip both ends of it. And then I'm going to mark um, at three and um, a quarter inch on the noodle and cut both of his arms at that length. Both of them are at three and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to take an exacto. I'm going to I put his hat back on to figure out exactly where I wanted his arms. I'm taking exacto, poking a hole through there, and then I'm going to run that wire that we took out of the noodle straight through. So make sure it's straight, and you're going to poke it in there and pull and poke it through and find out. You can feel where it comes through. It's going to be one and a quarter inches from the top edge. Go ahead and cut a slit in there. And then you can um, fish it on through there. And just go ahead and even on both sides. Then we're going to go ahead and put the purple noodles back on there. And we're going to glue those to the wire. Okay, next we're going to build his arms. You're going to fold it over about a quarter inch on the side that you embossed. And then you're going to um, glue down both of the long sides. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach it to the noodle. So on the side that has the raw edge, you're going to glue it to the very back part of the noodle and then do the same thing with the opposite side. So the edge that's not finished is the one that's going to be glued to the arm. Okay, 
And then we're just going to kind of spin that around until we get it on there good. And you don't have to go real tight on that. You just kind of want to, you know, get it on there a little bit loosely and then glue that um, to, the, to the arm. And then do the same thing with the other side. And then we're going to actually glue that arm to the to the body. Just put a little bit, pull it back a little bit, and just put a little glue in there so that that looks like that sleeve is attached to that jacket. And then we're going to go ahead and put a little 15 millimeter half bead on for his hands. And then I'm going to go ahead and just bend his arms on down. So hold it at the shoulder and bend it down. Okay, and then go ahead and add your hat. And then we're going to add our, our nose. And that's another 15 millimeter bead. Just put a little dog of glue right there and put it in the center right up against the edge of that hat. All right. Pretty easy, a little Cinco de Mayo gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.